And behold, when I say that joke will fit perfect, perfecto! Yo, what up though? What it do? It's your boy Everyday Inc. Welcome back to On The Ace Bully Camp. If you new here, make sure you go ahead and on that subscribe button and don't forget when you subscribe over here get not just a subscriber no you part of the family now with that being said if you're not a part of the ape squad join the ape squad now also make sure you go ahead and smack that notification bell that way you know when your boys about to drop some new heat because i do drop heat on a regular basis so stay tuned in and that's on game stay tuned all the way in you feel me so today family ape squad we are putting together a whelping pool for my girl gamora and her pups ain't that right gamora yeah daddy we gonna put a whelping pool up yeah that's right all right now stay in the bed nope stay Make sure she's staying in bed. But yeah, y'all, we putting together a whelping pool today, you feel me? And I got everything from A to B to Z, you feel me? So let me show y'all what your boy got. We got the noodles, you feel me? The noodles, that's going to stay in place as our guardrail for to stop Gamora from leaning on her puppy. Didn't I just tell you to go get in the bed? Go get in that bed, go. You better go get in that bed. Get in that bed, girl. What's wrong with her? Hard headed like my little kid for real, y'all. But, like I said, boom, we got the noodle and we're gonna use this as a guardrail so Gamora doesn't lean up on her puppies and smush or suffocate them, you feel me? And they can kind of go hide up under the noodle or hide up under the guardrail if you will. Now, we have this guardrail as a pool noodle and I'm going to strap this pool noodle down with these zip ties y'all now i chose to get yellow zip ties because your boy like a little bit of color you feel me i like a little bit of pop you know so we got yellow zip ties instead i got my drill to drill my holes um in the side of the pool so i can run my zip ties through two holes on the pool to make sure that my noodle is secure in place uh, in a lower area on the pool. Also, make sure you want to make sure you got enough space. You feel me up under the pool noodle for your puppy to run and hide and get out of the way of mama in case she happen to lean on them. Now, God forbid, we definitely don't want that to happen. So definitely keep an eye on your pups. Y'all see Thanos? He want to watch the video too because he tuned in. He's a subscriber. So. Thanos is tuned in too, y'all. So, yeah, we definitely want to have a little space up under there, up under the noodle so the pup can run. So, make sure you leave enough space for your puppy to get under there. Now, take heed that if you got a micro litter, like your boy, you know what I mean? Looking for micro nano, if you didn't know. Uh, if you got a smaller litter, your puppies are going to be smaller. If you got a bigger dog... A pocket then your puppies are going to be bigger so take heed to that and level the guardrail how you feel is going to be best for your size puppy guys with that being said i've already get off of my window thanos get down that boy hard-headed child that's why you outside now get down thanos yeah so make sure you do that right guys also i got my handy dandy drill right here to drill my holes um I also have a heating pad because that's going to be going in the pool for the pups to run to and stay warm, guys. And I um, also got a PP pad, if you will. You know what I mean? With this PP pad right here, I'm just going to sit it in the bottom of the pool. That way I can keep the area straight. That way I can keep the area straight, y'all, and uh, keep it cleaned up. This is waterproof washable all of that good stuff you know what i mean and i got my saw right here to cut part of this swimming pool out y'all i'm gonna cut a opening for gamora to be able to step out now gamora is definitely powerful she's strong enough to jump over this pool um real 
if I wanted her to, but I don't want her to, y'all. She's going to be sore. She's going to be fresh out of the C-section. With that being said, I want to make it easy for mom to be able to get out of the pool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, you feel me, a small opening right here so she can easily get in and get out, but also not leaving it low enough for the pups to jump out. You see what I'm saying? So I'll also be cutting this noodle up and uh, making soft edges all the way around the pool, if you will, or around this entry, outry way. That's what I'm going to be doing, y'all. So with that being said, we about to put this work in, and I'm going to show y'all what I got going on and how I try to make it easy on myself. You feel me? So what I did was, y'all. Uh, Y'all yeah, see these two noodles and they stuck together, you feel me? So the way I did it was, I took some cardboard, just a cardboard box, and tore the lid off of it, y'all. And I rolled that lid up to fit down into that hole. That way my noodles would stay tight together like that, you feel me? Like so, yeah, and we are all the way on point, you know what I mean? So, of course I'm gonna go ahead and take these stickers off because I don't want the puppies getting to know Weird random plastic chewing on nothing. Which of course they ain't gonna have teeth in, but you know, just take the sticker off in general. Uh, so, that being said, guys, I got that done, got that noodle part out of the way. As you can see, this noodle is probably gonna have to be cut, guys. So, I'm gonna make sure I cut it for my opening on my door where Gamora can get out. You feel me? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and first, I'm going to cut my door for Gamora to be able to exit and enter comfortably, y'all. You know what I'm saying? It got me a little saw, little something I've been had laying around and everything. So I'm gonna get this little entryway cut out for her. Like I said, you don't wanna do it too high and you don't want to do it too low. You want to try to do it perfect for the height of your dog. Your dog might be big enough to just boom, step out of here. My dog is not. So I'm going to do it at a height that I feel is going to be comfortable for her. Please be careful. This is a saw. You can lose a, lose a limb. You feel me? Lose a finger. You don't want the guide rail to be too high or too low. So I've already pre-marked holes for where I want my guide rail to be. Of course you want it to be even all the way around. So if you can, do your best to make sure that they are even all the way around, y'all. That way your guide rail ain't floating, you know what I mean, up and down weirdly. see the way I did it right here y'all I didn't want the um, holes to be too far apart because keep in mind that you do want to have tension um, on that zip tie to hold that guide rail up tightly y'all so I had my clothes close together to make sure I can ensure that that would happen uh, and while we on this topic y'all um, 
this was not nothing expensive for me. Um, it's actually cooler outside right now, so I didn't buy this swimming pool at the hype of summer. I ended up getting it at, you feel me, the top of winter. Uh, so with that being said, I only spent five bucks on this pool, y'all. Five whole dollars. And my pool noodles was like two dollars a piece, something like that. You know what I mean? It wasn't terrible, y'all. So this is really, you know what I'm saying? If you will, a project is probably under $10 or $12. You know what I mean? This ain't nothing that just cost me an arm and leg. But I forgot I did pay for them zip ties. They had some that was like, you feel me? Like probably like three or four dollars. I spent like seven bucks on my zip ties just to get a hefty amount of them because I'm using for other things as well. Um, let me see this waterproof bed pad right here. I want to say maybe I spent like, I don't know y'all, it might have been like 15 bucks. I'm not sure, I don't want to lie to y'all, but it wasn't expensive, you feel me? Also, the heat pad over there, I did pay for the heat pad. The heat pad ran your boy about $28, $30, you feel me? So I did have to pay for that, but that ain't really just part of setting the pool up. You don't even have to have a heat pad if that's not your choice of a heating source. You might choose to go with a heating lamp. You know what I mean? So, you feel me? It's really your preference how you choose to do things, guys. Also, if you could, it's up to you. I make it easier on myself. Uh, when I drill these holes, y'all, I just kind of make sure... Oh. I kind of make sure that I pull the drill back and forth because it helps smooth the hole out a little bit and it's probably gonna be a lot easier on you getting your zip tie, you feel me, to run through it. challenges to deal with a newborn puppy so we don't want to create no extra stress if we don't have to all right uh, now you boy about to run this back on pool little through here um let me see what parts we go no i'm not even gonna cut the pool noodle until we get to that point y'all where the opening is that's what i'm gonna do go ahead run these zip ties through here real quick By the way, if you new here and you watching this, you might want to hit that subscribe button, you feel me? Because we one of the strongest families on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? It's the Ape Squad, so it's all love over this way, guys. And um, anything, anything that I know, you feel me, I'm willing to, to give y'all the sauce, you know what I mean? To, to help y'all and teach y'all with what I know and give y'all all of the tips and tricks, you feel me? So go ahead and join the family if you're not part of the family yet. And plus, you know what I'm saying? Of course you're gonna get the best tips and tricks on how to continue to raise your bull or whatever kind of dog you got for that matter, y'all. Um, I didn't just start off just in love with uh, pit bulls only, you know what I mean? My first dog, <laughs> My first dog was like a dog my mama got. My first dog was a Shih Tzu, y'all. If you know, you know. <laughs> and if you don't, you don't. Uh, this this pool can work for uh, all breeds of dog, y'all. So hopefully this is helpful to whoever's watching it, y'all. Boom. 
But y'all see, it's not a hard task, y'all. I'm just uh, once again feeding these zip ties through the hole and running them back through the other side and tighten them up, y'all. Just so I got my guy real. Good. It ain't nothing strenuous. Uh, it ain't nothing hard. It's just something that's got to be done. Yeah, I see I got that little space up under there I was telling y'all about uh, for my pups to be able to run to um, when moms may accidentally sit on them or something, y'all. If y'all didn't understand the reason for it, that's the reason. <laughs> Don't know if y'all into it, you know what I mean, but beyond the pool, because y'all see what your boy got going on, we just gonna chop it up for a minute. So went to see that Black Panther yesterday. Hard. Them boys went hard, man. I don't want to spoil too much of the movie for y'all, but I ain't gonna you feel me. So I ain't gonna give y'all no key points or nothing like that. But if you ain't seen the Black Panther, man, that jump was hard, bro. I'm talking about them folks. Realize and put their time into trying to make a nice movie, you feel me? Like, and completed the goal. That joke was hard, super hard, like, from all aspects. And I like the way, you know what I'm saying, they commemorated, um, I don't want to mess his name up, y'all, <laughs> but the original Black Panther, I like the way they commemorated him. Um, in the movie. I like the way they did what they did, you know what I mean? Uh, kind of gave him a little memorial, if you will. Um, really before the, the movie even gets started, good, you know, so I like the way they, I like the way they did that, you know. I like the way they showed him love, you feel me? And I like the way they incorporated just everything with the movie, man. If you ain't seen the Black Panther and you thought about, you know what I'm saying, going to see it, it's hard, y'all. I like it. I also went to go see the Woman King, you know what I mean? Uh, my old lady wanted to go see it. At first, I wasn't just super hyped on getting there. I watched all movies regardless, you feel me? But I just wasn't super hyped on rushing to get there to see that one. But we went to go see it, and that joint was good, man. It was super good, man. So, if you ain't seen the Woman King, go check that joint out too if you like movies. Y'all see it starting, you see it, it's starting to form itself a little bit. Y'all can see my little guy over here starting to take, take a little shape, you know, starting to come to life. Actually glad I went with the yellow, y'all. I'm liking the uh I'm liking the color that it's giving me. You know what I mean? I'm liking the color that it's giving me um with this blue, y'all. It, it just stands out. I ain't just gonna sit up here and say I'm no Warriors fan or nothing, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I like the uh I like the yellow and blue with uh <laughs> that zip tie. So right here. <laughs> but I ain't gonna talk y'all head off this whole video, man. So we don't rush through me zipping these other holes up real quick so y'all just hold tight and we gonna go in thank you much all right family now i got everything done as far as that go Check it out, man. Check out this boy guy on there. You know what I mean? Now I'm gonna grab the scissors real quick and cut them ends off. Just to clean it up a little bit. You see me? We're gonna chop them jokers off. Alright, 
them job was chopped off, y'all. And now, oh, uh, for these edges right here, y'all, I don't want Gamora to hurt herself as she's jumping out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take part of this right here and I'm gonna cut it and kind of get it to uh, fit in the groove, y'all. So we're gonna try some stuff real quick. There, then I'm gonna slice it down the middle, y'all, but not go all the way through it. Man. Ooh, thought I cut myself for a minute. Y'all be careful. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do, y'all, is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna press it down on this hard area. There we go. That way the more it don't hurt herself, y'all, as she jumping out. And I'm gonna do the same for these little side areas too. Two of them. I'm gonna say about right here. And y'all see I'm not actually measuring, I'm just kinda eyeballing it with the noodle beside it. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm not no carpenter or nothing fancy like that, so I'm just doing what I gotta do to make something happen. So y'all, now that I got them on there like that, what I'm gonna do is, just to ensure that they stuck there, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and drill some holes with this drill and make sure they tie it in tight, y'all. So, drill one right there, just to make sure that's gonna be on point. And I'm gonna drill another over here. And we're gonna say, let me see. We're gonna do two at the bottom too, y'all. Oh, let me get in here. We're gonna do two at the bottom, guys. Check it out, man. Two little holes at the bottom right there to run a zip tie through and two on there. One right here, one right there, y'all. I'm gonna run these zip ties through there real quick. Just to make sure they good down out the way. Okay, y'all, so it did make sense for me to do two holes. <laughs> it just makes sure, uh, sense for me to do that one hole at the bottom, y'all. Gonna tighten it down. Ooh. Get one more zip tie. Run it through that bottom hole. And tighten it down. You definitely want to do these on the edge of the pool kind of very tightly, y'all. I'm gonna roll these part right here to the bottom. Ugh. And I'm gonna cut them. Get it. I'm gonna do these good times real quick right here too, guys. 
Also guys, if you can, uh, make sure you bring the zip ties outside the pool. See, I you know, got everything going on the outside, if you will. <laughs> and uh, I'm cut them off. And there y'all have <laughs> my product, my finished product for the actual pool, guys. And um, if you want to, you could even go as far as to, you know what I mean, line in the whole top edge of this pool if you wanted to, you know what I mean? I'm not going that far, but you could if you want to. <laughs> um, and like I told you guys, I bought this um, pee pee pad, poo poo pad, if you will. Pee pee poo poo pad, so don't let it go through to the bottom and you can keep the pups clean. Keep their welfare area clean. Uh, it is waterproof, guys. And it's actually circled to um, line the bottom of the pool with. Now, just let you guys know, this is a moon sea, um, a moon sea waterproof pad. I got it off Amazon, so you know what I mean? Y'all can check that out. <laughs> Not that I'm advertising it, because I ain't getting paid for advertising, but that would be nice, you feel me? So, Moon see if y'all see this, I'll let your boy. And, uh, boom. Let's go. Oh, sit this joke in here. And behold, when I say that joke will fit perfect, perfecto! We locked in, y'all. And that's the welfare area right there. That's how we coming, you feel me? And, and that's your boy Creation, you know. That's the welfare area that we gonna whelp these baby apes in, you feel me? And um, like I said, I got this heating pad right here. So your boy is basically gonna have, boom, heating pad right here type deal in the middle. I'm gonna throw a blanket over this. And Gamora can be right there, you feel me? And the pups can lay on the heat pad if they cool, they can run to it. You see what I'm saying? So, other than that, man, appreciate y'all for watching, man. Appreciate y'all staying tuned in, family. I love y'all, Ape Squad. Y'all know it's, it's all love over this way. It's all family. And as always, sending you guys love, joy, kindness, peace, and prosperity from this side of the camera to y'all side of the camera, man. Stay tuned and I will see you guys in the very next video. If you like the video, don't forget to leave your boy a thumbs up. I got the I'm going eight. Yeah, I'm going eight. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. Yeah, I'm going eight. Only ace bully count. Yeah, yeah. Only ace bully count. Yeah, yeah. Only ace bully count. Yeah, yeah. Only ace bully count. Only ace bully count. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. I'm going eight.